a bag that has no limits. Now this bag is good for gym and work commuting or short traveling trips. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned for the product review. This might be your bag. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I upload a lot of fitness and lifestyle content as well as product reviews catered towards athleisure. So if that sounds good to you, I would appreciate you guys subscribing so you can be notified every time I upload a video. That being said, full transparency, this video is sponsored by the company Ruck. They sent me this duffel bag to review for you guys. So I know I review a lot of bags on this channel and if you're in the market for a new duffel, this video is to help you decide whether this is the one for you. Grab a drink, sit back, and enjoy. Now, a couple things about Ruck. They specialize in anything that makes traveling and commuting more convenient. They got duffel bags, they have backpacks, crossbodies. Another thing to notice is that for every bag that they do sell, they are partnered with a nonprofit called Project Nova, and they donate solar lights to African villages in need that lack the infrastructure. Now, the duffel that I have here is the Limitless Duffel. Starting with the exterior of the bag, it is a high quality polyester, and it is water resistant, so if you're out in the rain or it's sprinkling, your stuff inside should be fine. As far as branding is concerned, the only thing that really is on this bag is the Ruck logo. It's a chrome finish and it's very minimalistic so if you guys like bags that are discreet this bag is going to be exactly that. As far as the colorway this is the sandstorm colorway. You guys know me I'm all about that ivory cream off-white color and this is exactly what that looks like but this bag is also available in a full black outlook as well if you're concerned with it getting dirty. What I like about the sandstorm colorway is that dual tone look so can see that the straps across as well as this channel here creates that dual tone look and I just love that that pop of black in there but if blackout is your thing they also have this in a full black finish working our way along the exterior water resistant polyester exterior the construction is sturdy you guys can notice that it does retain its shape pretty well it doesn't really have a hard shell to it it still collapses down it's malleable as needed when traveling with it it's not going to be flimsy and like constantly being abrasive against your body it's a hard shell type but it isn't hard shell if that makes sense a couple compartments to note we do have an open sleeve on the back side of the bag no zipper here as well as a sub pocket in here any paper documents or things that you're not worried about being too secure you can keep it inside of here there's no zipper and that'll be flush with your body so you shouldn't be too concerned about pickpocketing or anything like that and another thing too that i thought was really cool being a trainer is the insulated meal pocket this channel does run along the whole back side of the bag and if you have any meal prep or any food with you you can keep it in this compartment it is insulated so it should keep your food fresher longer the only thing that I dislike about it is the fact that it is on the side of the bag meaning that if you have Tupperware you're gonna have to go on its side and it's gonna you know collapse down to that for future reference I think it would have been better to put it along the bottom of the bag that being said this is a v1 so maybe in a later iteration they'll move that to the bottom for a more convenient storage. Now, if you do want a more secure storage, there is a zippered pocket here for more security. This is on the front of the bag, so it will be facing away from you. In here, you can keep any items that you'll be frequently grabbing, your passport, your wallet, keys, phone. There is a trolley sleeve here. Now, there's two zippers that run at the top and bottom of this channel, and you guys will notice my hand goes straight through that. So when you're traveling, you can fit this bag right on top of your luggage through the handle. The handle would slide right through this middle part and this bag would rest right on top of your luggage. I love the convenience of that. Now, I personally am a travel minimalist and this bag is a 40 liter capacity. So they say that this is enough space to cater for a three to five day traveling trip. And I'm all about that. If I could fit everything into one bag and not need a luggage, I'm that guy. The most I'll probably have duffel bag like this and a backpack on so I'm a minimalist when it comes to traveling I try not to bring too much with me and that's just for convenience and 
not having to worry about retrieving a luggage at the end of the flight. But it is kind of counterproductive because I have to wait for the luggage of my girlfriend anyways, so I could technically bring a luggage, but okay, I'm getting off track. Let's go ahead and get back to the bag. Um, that pretty much does it as far as exterior details. One extra thing to note is that there is a charging port here. So you'll see this black notch here, that's a USB port and it does attach to the inside of the bag which we'll see later. This allows you to plug in any USB wire for miscellaneous chargers so that you can charge your devices while you're out and about. Coming back to minimal branding, we do have like a faux leather button handle here. It does have ruck heat pressed into it but it's so low key that honestly you won't really notice that it's there unless you take the time to look at it. There is a lot to unpack here. So the zippers do go all the way down to the bottom of the bag, basically cutting this thing right down the middle like so. I love that, again, for travel purposes. And the construction of the interior is just as nice as the exterior. We can actually divide this bag into two halves. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the back side of the bag, which features a number of things. One thing to note, in this duffel bag, there are sub compartments to these compartments. On the back side of the bag, we're going to feature a nice wide and open carrying space. And along this whole back panel here is a mesh compartment. It is open, it is breathable, and there you can keep toiletry products, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, cologne, deodorant. You can even keep your undergarments in there, socks, boxers, however you want to pack this thing. This is a moisture resistant zip pocket to keep any of your sweaty or dirty laundry in. That's really cool that they decided to dedicate a whole separate compartment to your dirty clothes, especially when traveling. It's nice that they thought of that. And again, you can utilize this whether you're going to the gym or if you're actually out and about traveling. We are on the front half of the bag now. It is a large microfiber sleeve in here that could fit up to 17 inch laptops, I believe. And in here is also the included shoulder strap, which is very nice quality construction here. Just like the back side, this front side also zips open to reveal a much deeper pocket. And in here, there's a bunch of cool stuff to go over. So you can keep all your clothes tucked into this side. It does run pretty deep, but along the wall on this one, you're gonna have a much more refined panel of storage. On this side, you're gonna be keeping smaller items, everyday carry type stuff. So again, coming back to the phone, the wallet, the keys, any office stuff you might bring, charging wires, cables, things of that sorts. We have two separate zipper panels in here, each one with a sub pocket to have quick access to those items, as well as a more secure zipper storage to really keep them away. And again, it is divided right down the middle. Behind that, you have an overall big storage compartment. Now, if you guys remember the charging port from earlier that's on the outside of the bag, this is exactly where you would plug in your power bank. So it does include the wire, obviously, as well as an included power bank. The one it does come with is a Ruck official power bank and it has 10,000 mAh. And it also comes with the actual charging wires themselves. So you don't have to worry about needing those on hand to fully utilize this power bank. You can also find a little postcard here that has more information on their Project Nova campaign as well as every feature about this bag. Like I told you guys, there is a lot going on in this little 40 liter duffel. You guys know me, duffels and travel bags are no stranger to this channel. If I had to talk to Trey, it would be picking up another bag even though I don't need it. That being said, hopefully you guys appreciated this review. There's so much going on here again, whether you're traveling or commuting every day. This duffel is supposed to have no limits. It is called the Limitless Duffel after all. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out Ruck again. Huge shout out to them for sending this bag my way. And we recently just hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. So that's another milestone in the books. That about does it for this review, guys. As always, I appreciate you for watching. You can always leave any comments down below. If you have any questions on this duffel, go ahead and reach out to me. You can follow me at, at fit to the wrist on Instagram. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.